30 years ago this week, and I checked just now, on a sunny day, I walked into the palatial offices of AMI Healthcare on Cornwall Terrace. And that was my entry into the private healthcare sector. Um, it was a different private healthcare world. I was in marketing. Um, this was a, an industry where we just opened hospitals and they filled up. When you did a feasibility, we did the kind of same feasibility for every new AMI hospital. We just tick, tick, tick. Yep, open the hospital, 50, 60 percent occupancy in a fairly short space of time. It was the boom time of private health care. Um, 30 years later, and certainly in this current environment, the world is, is, is totally different. Um, and the key message for me from the presentations today um, are about change. Um, market change, the insurance market is static. We're not going to see a, a massive recovery of that. Um, you know, we have some hospital groups where 50% of their patients are coming from the National Health Service. We have an NHS which is in, you know, pretty bad shape, waiting lists going through the roof. You know, that has, be, that has to be a massive opportunity for the sector. You know, the self-pay opportunity, the one kind of area of growth that we've seen today, someone estimating at eight in our survey of providers, people thinking, well, this is going to be a 15% growth market. Real opportunity there that we have to ex exploit. Um, and then downstairs, I was in the international session. Um, and if you are running London hospitals and you were listening to Graham El Elderfield down there saying that every one of those key markets, they are cutting back their expenditure. You've got to change the way you work with those markets if you want to grow your, your, your business there. Customer change, we, we've talked about patient voice, patient choice, patient satisfaction. 30 years ago, we didn't really bother about that stuff. Uh, people came to hospitals and they had operations, and that was it, and that was the business. Um, relationships. Um, Sue, you've got a real challenge. Sue is a contemporary of mine from 30 years ago, from the early days of AMI, <laughs> would you believe? Um, and she's got some real challenges on a, a, a plate within the IDF, the, you know, the changes that Cleveland will shake up, potentially, a very crowded London market with a new model. Um, and finally, um, our healthcare futurist, who's now gone off to predict the future somewhere else. Um, but he, you know, we've had him speak at a couple of events, really interesting, really just wake you up to what the future holds uh, and how, how we're going to do with that, deal with that. Um, so I suppose my message to, be, to you is that if you don't like change, uh, I get out of this industry now. Um, because we're going to have more change in this industry in the next two or three years uh, than we've ever seen. Uh, and I'm really convinced that's going to happen. So that's the thing to get excited about, guys. Not to fear change. Um, these are exciting times. Um, and I hope uh, you'll be back next year to our next conference to see if we've managed to change anything and respond uh, to what's going on out there.